When you think of a rare shiny in Pokemon, what comes to your mind? Charizard, Brawligator, you know, Cyndaquil, any of those shiny starter Pokemon, maybe Metagross, maybe Chansey? What doesn't come to mind is shiny Basculin. And why would it? You know, it's such, it's one of the most common shiny Pokemon on the GTL. You can find them just by browsing super, super easily. There's so many for such a cheap price. It's, it's one of the most common. Uh, you can also encounter them at really common locations, like at the Dratini spot at Dragon Spiral Tower. It's one of the most, one of the most hunted shinies in all of Pokemon. There's tons of shiny Basculin out there. But we're going to be talking about a very specific shiny Basculin today. Because you see, all of the shiny Basculin on the GTL and any shiny Basculin you'll find in Pokemon is the red striped shiny Basculin. There are two different forms of Basculin and therefore two different forms of shiny Basculin. There is actually a blue striped Basculin that many people forget about in Pokemon. Blue striped Basculin was actually something that was only brought to my attention recently. I knew it existed, but I thought that it might actually just not be available in Pokemon because I've never seen it through my experience after playing this game for nine years. But Blue Basculin does exist. The issue is Blue Basculin is only available from Phenos or Phenomena is what they're called. Phenos or Phenomena are those little sort of rustling patches of grass or rustling little sandstorms you'll see in mountains or little whirlpools in water. They're a single tile sort of random event that offers a random encounter at a specific Pokemon in the wild. And Blue Striped Basculin is one of those specific Pokemon. Phenos don't happen that often, so the only way to get a Blue Striped Shiny Basculin would be to randomly encounter it just from an absolute at chance phenomena and then for it to just happen to come out shiny. The odds of that are super unlikely. The other only way to get a blue striped shiny Basculin would to be to breed for one, but you don't see many people spending all of their Poke and all the time trying to breed for a blue striped shiny Basculin, you know? There's not that many people who really care about blue striped shiny Basculin. There might not even be a single blue striped shiny Basculin that exists on the entire Pokemon server for this fact. I've heard multiple higher ups in the game, multiple people, reputable sources who are very high up in the high end shiny economy and just high end economy in general saying and claiming they've never seen one and they, they think as well there might not be a blue striped shiny Basculin in the game right now. And it makes total sense. The way that a lot of rare shinies will often come into the game is either by high level players breeding for them, which costs over 120 million Poke Yen to breed, and then 1,000 to 2,000 hours, depending on how fast you can buy the Ditto boxes, and then by random players randomly encountering them during their storyline. There was a player in my Discord recently who encountered a shiny Larvesta just by chance, and that was incredible. Very, very rare encounter. But if you're able to encounter these very rare encounters in the storyline, someone is gonna end up getting a shiny, right? It's bound to happen sooner or later. If 30,000 people play through the Unova storyline and 30,000 people encounter a, a, Lavar a Larvesta one time, you know, that's 30,000, that's one out of 30,000. That's the shiny rate. So there is a chance that one of those people will go ahead and get a shiny Larvesta. That isn't the case for Blue Stripe Shiny Basculin. The only way to get one would be to specifically seek it out via a Fino or to specifically breed for it, which no one seems to want to do. Before the making of this video, I wasn't even sure that if you bred a blue stripe Basculin, a blue stripe Basculin baby would come out. I just had no idea. I actually don't even have a blue stripe Basculin in my OT Pokedex, so if this one were to happen to come out shiny, it would come out with an asterisk, which would be super, super unfortunate. Now, I do have the red striped Basculin in my Pokedex, but they are registered as entirely different Pokemon, which is very strange, even though you can't really see the blue striped Basculin in your Pokedex. It's similar to Rotom. I really hope they actually expand the Pokedex and go on to fix this maybe in the future of Pokemon, but you can't actually look at all the different forms of Rotom in your Pokedex without actually having that Rotom in your party to be able to click the Pokedex entry on it. 
I thought that Blue Stripe Basculin's tail was pretty interesting, so I thought that you guys might enjoy it yourself today. If you guys did, please do make sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out a ton and lets me know what kind of videos you guys are enjoying the most. If you also want to subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon content, that would be super cool. There's also a Discord link down below if you want to join a really cool community and just learn a lot about the game in general at a really rapid pace. And then finally, there are some financial links down below to my PayPal and to become a YouTube member if you want to go above and beyond and support content creators like this. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy your Pokemon experience every day and keep finding out more and more beautiful stuff about this game, like the limited rarity of Blue Stripe Shiny Basculin. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, if you made it to this point, that means you watched the entire video. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. I also like to use this end screen to say thank you to all those YouTube members, Patreons, Twitch Prime, subscribers, etc., etc. Anyone who goes above and beyond and supports the channel. If you're on this list, you're pretty damn cool. If you're not on this list, you're also still pretty cool, but not as cool as these guys, and that's okay. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you next time.